someone shared some files with you on Google Drive and sent you a link to those files and you need to download them and maybe extract them from an archive, what could be simpler? But sometimes it is also very confusing how that works because there's no consistency in the experience. It depends on several different factors. In this step-by-step -step tutorial, I'm going to show you exactly how to download files that you need to download and how to extract them. So what happens is you receive a link and it's a really, really long URL address. And you need to go to that link and if it is a link rather than text, all you need to do is click on it and it will take you to the shared file. Now, at this point, you may see one of the few different things. What you see right now on my screen is a, an Excel file that was opened as a preview, which means that that link was sharing an individual single Excel file. And uh, if that happens to you, you see the preview and you need the file, all you need to do is uh, click on this button right here, download button. Once you do that, something blinks on your screen and uh, the file is downloaded, but it is not obvious where it is downloaded. Well, you can see it in the lower left-hand corner right here. And uh, if you were to click on this link, on this file in the lower left-hand corner, then you would open it in Excel. But alternatively, you can also click on show all on the right hand side in the lower right hand corner. And that would take you somewhere else. So for this first example, I'm going to click on the file itself. And it opens in Excel because it's an Excel file that was only showing you a preview. And you need to enable editing if you want to edit it. You click on this button right here. And then you do whatever you want with it. You can actually save it as into a different location and uh, uh, then you will have the file. I'm going to save it on my desktop and uh, click Save. So now this file is on my desktop and I can work on it in, in Excel or I can close Excel and come back to that file later. Here's one more situation that you might bump into. You receive a link with something shared on Google Drive and you need to go and download it. You click on the link and instead of a, a preview, you see several objects, several different files. So what happens here, you are actually in the folder that was shared with you. It is not a single file that was shared with you, but a folder with multiple files. And the name of the folder will be in this uh, position right here on the left hand side. I called it shared folder. And uh, uh, if you need to download them, then the best way to do that is to click on download all, this button right here in the upper right hand corner. Now, before I do that, I also want to point your attention that you can download each one of these files individually, which can be counterproductive if you need all of them. But to download them individually, you need to click on the download button that comes up when you hover your cursor over each one of these files in the upper left hand corner of the, each thumbnail. So, but I'm, not, I'm going to download all of them. I'm going to click on download all. And something interesting is happening. In the lower right hand corner, you see there's a little prompt telling me that it's preparing to download. And when it's done, and it also says zipping one file. So what's going on at this point, Google Drive is zipping or compressing that folder with all the files and creating a what's called zip -R archive a very common file type to archive and share folders so that they are smaller. Now, something really weird happens also. There's a prompt that is really cryptic, leave site question mark. And uh, you look at it and you think, no, 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 I don't want to leave site. I want to actually download what I am here to download. Well, and uh, don't click cancel in that case. If you cancel, you will not download it. You will, uh, if you click on leave, however, the download happens again. 
and you can see in the lower left hand corner again you have the file and it's no longer um, like an excel file or a word file it is a zip file it's an archive and um, on the right hand side you can also see the show all button which we're going to get to in a moment i'm going to click on the downloaded file again and in this case, what happens, that file is open in the Windows File Explorer. And Windows automatically recognizes that this is a zip file, an archive. Uh, you can tell that uh, it's an archive because you have the contextual tab here, uh, compressed folder tools extract. If it's hiding the ribbon, sometimes the ribbon is minimized, you need to click on this tab right here. And then all you need to do, I'm going to pin the ribbon again, and all you need to do is click Extract All. Do not click or double click on the shared folder. It's not necessary. If you double click, you will drill down. And if you select any of the files in, in there, only the selected file will be extracted. But if you need all of them, do not do this. Do not double click. Just stay on the highest level and click on Extract All. When you do click Extract All, you will get this dialog box which is suggesting to provide the location for the extraction. And uh, here you normally would click on Browse and uh, uh, put it on your desktop. And again, I already am on my desktop. I'm going to click on Desktop, click Select Folder, and all you need to do now is click Extract extract and a new window of uh, the file explorer is open and it shows you that in the desktop or on the desktop you have the shared folder and it is no longer an archive it is not zipped anymore it has all the files that were in that archive and finally you might have a different kind of experience so here's another one i have a link i click on it to go and download the files and the Google Chrome is open, the default browser. And what I see here is something strange. Can't preview file. There was a problem with the preview, retrying download. And uh, the reason this happens is when the file that was shared with you cannot be in a preview. It is not a folder that was shared, it's a file. And in this case, it's a zip file. A zip file cannot be previewed. And you can see the name of the file in the upper left-hand corner here, and uh, you can choose to download using this button or using that button. Those are the choices. I'm going to click download, and again, I got the uh, file downloaded here, and also show all on the right-hand side in the lower right-hand corner. I'm going to click on show all in this case. A new tab is open in the browser. And the files, you see, I was playing with it. I downloaded it several times. But here, if you click on the latest download, you will get the same experience when you need to unzip the file to extract the archive. And again, extract all. Choose the location. And again, desktop. And click extract. And now I have the extracted project files on my desktop right here. All of my previous examples uh, were for a non-logged-in user. I was not logged into my Google account when I was downloading the files. I was a guest. Now, what happens if you are logged in into your uh, Google account? Let's take a look at how different that is. I'm going to click on this first one. That's the first example that I've shown you. I'm going to click on it, and in this case, it is kind of similar. You just see the preview, that's a single Excel file that is downloaded, and all you need to do is click on Download, just like in the previous examples, this button right here. And of course, the download will pop up in this area, and also you can go to All Downloads in that area. I'm going to click and do it. So here you go. You can launch the file or you can go to show all. And how about the second example when a folder with files are shared by using a link? I'm going to click on it 
and again I am logged in. This is probably a little bit more confusing than uh, the previous example. So since I'm logged in, I am actually inside my Google Drive. And um, in order to download these files, it's a little not obvious, like what can you do here? But what you need to do, you need to click on this shared folder, on the folder name here, and there's a drop down menu. And uh, here, so you basically click right here on this button right here. And then you need to click on download. And everything else will be just like in the previous examples. I'm going to do that. Download. And again, it's preparing to download first. And then it is asking me to leave, which is another confusing message. Remember, click leave. And the file is dropped into the lower left-hand corner. And I can launch it and go through the unarchiving or extract, extracting the archive. And finally, let's take a look at the third example when you are logged in, doing it when you are logged in. I'm going to click on the shared link and it is taking me to a slightly different view. It's very similar, but it's different from when I am not logged in. You can see that uh, I have, I am logged in right here and uh, what I need to do, I need to click on the download button right here. Very similar experience with some differences and that is what is, is making it a little bit more confusing. I'm going to click on download and uh, again the file is dropped right here and I can go to show all or I can launch the file directly from this link right here and go through all the steps that I need to do in order to extract it. And that concludes this little tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it and keep learning.